Hi, I'm Paul Hazelhurst from BSTAR. In this session I want to talk to you about our engagement campaigns that we've developed. We know one of the biggest challenges for providing advice is, is first off creating the awareness and educating your clients as to the actual needs that they have as business owners. So what we've done is, is we've taken the knowledge that we've gained over the last 10 years in working with business owners and we've also taken what we've learned from our alliance partners and we've developed eight engagement campaigns that can be used for you to engage and create awareness amongst your target client group. So each campaign is based around a, a specific stage in business life. So they range from starting a business right through to succession and exit. So what we'll do in this session is we'll actually go onto the website, we'll, we'll choose one of the campaigns and we'll work through the process of, of how in a very structured way you're able to create the awareness and educate your clients so that your level of engagements will increase. Okay, campaigns. One of the most important things is getting your clients to want to do business with you. So how do you engage with them? How do you help them understand how to create awareness of some of the issues that they are dealing with as business owners? So as usual, you sign into your BSTAR Alliance Partner site, you go to the Engagement tab which is where you also access your growth and succession planning assessment. And what you can see below that is a number of campaigns. And, and as I said in the introduction, they've all been structured and based around stage in life. So whether you're starting a business, you know, if you've got problems with your performance, so surviving or thriving, the broad campaign is about the whole business improvement, growth and succession. Value gap, value getting, understanding value, getting ready for sale, how do you gauge better with your staff? How do you develop your exit strategies? The, the, the one we're going to go through today, just as a bit of an example, is the Value Gap campaign, which, which is one of the most popular campaigns that we have developed and our alliance partners are using. So let's have a look at this, the structure of this. The whole idea here is that we wanted to build the structure and give you all of your content so that you didn't really have to build anything. But you need to modify this to suit your style and, and what you want to do. So typically um, a, a, an advice group would identify a group of their clients who they believe this campaign, the value gap campaign would be suitable for and, and then send them um, the content um, in a structured way over a period of time. So as you can see with this case here or this campaign, there's a, it's a 10 week campaign. Um, there are a number of number of contacts. It also includes a, a workshop, a presentation where you'll invite your your clients to uh, come along and 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 with other business owners um, attend a session where they can find out a little bit more about how you can help them close the gap. So let's have a look at the uh, different components of the value gap campaign. So you can see on the left hand side there we have the contacts. Now in most cases you will probably want to run an, e an email campaign. So um, so what we've done, this is just a, um, a structured email that you would cut and paste into your email system and this is the first contact that you're going to have and really what you're doing here this is the beginning of a story that you're going to tell over the next eight to ten weeks so to your target clients the subject matter is look can you afford to sell so it's setting the scene are they one of the record number of baby boomers planning to sell um, they will most likely need to achieve a good price for their business otherwise they will not be able to afford to retire so the call to action pretty simply um, hey give us a call if you'd like to meet and talk about this in fact you may call them um, a few days after you've sent this out but also what you're attaching to this email from the BSTAR library is an article so that they can read a little bit more about what you're talking about so and in this case here we've recommended and you can choose whichever articles or case studies you want to send out but in this case here we've recommended that you send the can you afford to sell case study so let's have a look at that one. And again, of course, this will all be branded yours when you sign in. Um, and this is a simple one page article on the value gap. So it talks about the background that many business owners are going to be short when they go to retire and takes them through the value gap analysis in the process and also introduces them to the concept that after going through this, you may find that you do have a value gap which we know is highly likely and therefore you may need to grow before you go. 
So it's leading into what you can then do to help them improve their performance. So that's the first contact. Second contact, a couple of weeks later, and we, we recommend that you do stagger these um, over a period of time, is to continue to build on that story. So this heading a little more uh, challenging, live cheap or die young. Um, it starts to introduce planning and also particularly succession planning, but, but really starts to talk about what happens if you don't. So what are their options? So again, simple call to action, plus in this case here attaching some additional information um, around what this is all about. Again, this will be branded yours. And this just provides a little bit more information. So th this is a case study. Um, we find the case studies work really nicely. So if, if you don't believe this case study fits your client, um, there's a number of other case studies that would be suitable for this, but really just talks about the process that you would use to help help a business owner not only understand what their value gap is, but then help them help them improve their performance so they can close their gap. Okay, a couple of weeks after that, you send out your third contact, which in this case here is starting to introduce them into financial planning, I guess, understanding what sort of retirement income they do need so that they can start to work through a process to do that. Okay, and the case study that goes with that also goes into more depth. So once you've had, uh, in this case here, three contacts, the next contact is to invite them to a workshop or seminar, whatever you want to call it. Um, we have written your invitation. We've also written the covering email that goes with it. And we've also developed the PowerPoint presentation that you would use as the basis of your of your workshop or seminar that you're going to run. So let's just quickly open up the PowerPoint. Each of the campaigns actually has a workshop seminar process in it. It's very consistent with the information that you have been sending to your clients over the past four or five weeks. So what this is now doing is bringing it together. So the idea here is that you will go in and you will save this um, and amend it to suit your audience and your style so pretty simple. I'll leave it with you to go through and spend a bit more time. So that's a that that that's really a campaign. Um, there's as I said, there is eight of them. They are all based around stage in life. The value gap campaign, because we know that most business owners, the majority of business owners, actually will not be able to afford to retire unless they improve the value of their business. This is a really relevant campaign, and I think it's also a a great way to start engaging with people because it 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 brings together the business and the personal financial position and you are easily able to help them understand how helping them improve the value of their business and being value improvement specialists um, is something that you can really you can really deliver great value to to them so there you go that's the um, that's the value gap campaign and the campaign structure I um, if you want any help with this or you want to talk it through with any of us please give us a call